On the 17th of August 1982, the very first commercial compact disc was produced in the German town of Langenhagen. Welcome to HistoryPod. Having initially created separate prototype digital audio discs, engineers at electronics giants Philips and Sony came together in 1979 to develop a standardised format. Interestingly, this happened while the two companies sat on opposite sides of the VHS Betamax war over home video formats. In 1980, the engineers agreed on and published their Red Book standard, which is still used, albeit with some minor amendments, as the basis for all compact discs. Having agreed on this, marketing could then begin. The first public demonstration was given in 1981 on Tomorrow's World, a BBC television programme about new science and technology, in which presenter Kieran Prenderville scratched a CD to demonstrate the supposedly indestructible nature of the new format. However, when playing the Bee Gees album Living Eyes, he inserted a different disc to the one that he'd previously scratched. A year later, the first CD was produced to be sold commercially, although a number of months went by before the disc was available to purchase in stores. Chilean pianist Claudio Aro's recording of Chopin waltzes was pressed at Philips's Polydor Pressing Operations Plant, with the pianist himself starting the machine. Phillips apparently believed that classical music fans were generally more affluent and were therefore more likely to pay the hefty price tag for CDs and their players. The first pop music compact disc to be produced was The Visitors, the last album to be recorded by the Swedish musical supergroup ABBA. <laughs> 